Well, guys, I've had the tugboat out of the water for a few weeks, and today it's going back in. We have a special contract to bring four pickup trucks to a private island located on the north side of the coast. So we got a really long voyage with the Tommy Boy, also known as the car and truck carrier. This thing can get four vehicles max capacity. Weight limit really doesn't matter. It's a beast. Solid steel, baby. So that's going to be it. We're going to launch it in the water, pick up the trucks. I heard it's a billionaire, but the U-Haul will make sure they get there secure. So let's climb up. Fire up all the hydraulics on the crane. Looks good. We're all running. We're going to shift the weight on top. The red thing moving there. Just slightly to the right. And now we're going to raise it up. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is heavy. I'm surprised that one strap can hold it. But, you know, they're pretty strong. About 50 tons. But this thing's got to weigh just about that. So here we go. We're good to back it over the water. Had it sitting on some logs to even out. Also to do the upgrade. So here we are. We're going to drop it down in the water. We should be good right there. I gotta make my jump. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That was a pretty good one. Let's get in the helm here. All right. If I don't remember how to drive this thing, I mean, it took a little bit to get used to it. We've had this thing in the water in a couple weeks. This is going to be one awesome episode. We are going to be delivering it to a millionaire compound. So make sure you guys stick around and drop a like on today's video. It helps me out so much. And subscribe down below. I really love that. So let's go pull over to our slip. Where we're going to load the trucks on and step one, and we do have to drive into the city to pick up these trucks. So we're taking two separate loads with the Duramax and Big Tex trailer. Here's our slip. Let's go ahead and bring it in. There's our pilot boat. Straight in from here. Looking good. And perfect. That should be good. They're lifted trucks, I heard, so we'll be able to load them on. We're not going to need ramps like we did for the supercars. Well, the Chevy's parked right over here. We're going to hop in, drive into town. Check out what kind of trucks we're hauling. I'm just praying this Duramax can haul it. Usually gets the job done, but these are some pretty heavy trucks. I was looking at the load weight. Yeah, it's pushing it. But we'll get it done, like I said. And that big text behind us is 40 feet long. So you got to swing wide. And to guesstimate, we'll get about two trucks on there. All right, this is the spot on my GPS. We got guys sitting at the front of the security. Okay, I didn't know what we are getting into with a millionaire. We could be a billionaire. I don't know. I just heard he's very wealthy. All right, well, I guess we'll just get the trailer backed in for loading. I don't know what trucks are behind those doors, but, you know, if there's two security guards on the property, they must be some nice ones. So, let me uh, open the garage door on my phone. There we go. That one's up. Oh, my gosh. Check out these trucks. These are what you call pavement princesses. Oh, yeah. Let me just make sure there's no squatted trucks in here. Don't want those. Good. Good. Oh, that's an extra lifted truck. Perfect. Wait, is that a power wagon? Six four liter Hemi? No way. 2,500. Oh, yeah. Check this beast out. The new truck. Oh, yeah. 2021. Looking good. We got another... GMC AT4. We got the best trucks here. Another Dodge. This guy must be a Dodge fan. And a Ford with a fuel container on the back. Must be hauling around the diesel for all the trucks. Must be burning fuel like crazy. He's got four diesel trucks. Jeez. Okay, well, let's get the other doors open. We're gonna get going. Hey, sir. Yeah, we're all good. Yep. Everything's good to take. Perfect. What's the guy's name? His name is Buford the Third, King of Elm Creek. King of Elm Creek. Jeez. That must be a high-paying job. Okay, I guess we're going to be going to a king's property. This is just like his fun getaway property. It's in the intercoastal, so this is going to be fun. Let's get everything warmed up. They are diesels. I have all the keys. He sent them to my house. So here are first. We got the Ford F-350. Limited 6.7 power stroke. Oh, yeah. Get the tow mirrors out a little bit there. Extend them all the way. Okay, well, we're in a tight quarter here. Let's see if we can swing it around. Yep, yep. Actually, pretty easy. This is a nice truck. It's a long bed, too, so... Might take up a majority of the trailer. GPS is already rerouting to his place. It's kind of funny. If only they could drive themselves. Someday. Right there looks good for this one. Let's go ahead and throw a strap down on it. Good there. Perfect. That should be... Just enough to get it down to the loading docks, and then we'll put it on the ferry. All right, next truck up, I think we're going to take is the Ram 
this is 2021 but it's a mega cab versus that's a power wagon so they are a little different models that's why you can just tell the difference in them i personally would choose the power wagon that thing just looks so good there's something about it i don't know man it's a great looking truck but here we are let's hop in the mega cab they have the same engine so here we are fired up put on our running lights we'll load this on Oh, we're going to be right there on the trailer. Just a touch more. There we are. That's cutting it close right there. Look at that. These are huge trucks. The other two should be a little easier, but this Ford F-350, man, it's very long to fit that fuel tank in the back there. The transfer tank. And then, uh, yeah, there's no gooseneck in this one. But, geez, why you got to have such a nice truck just to transfer your fuel? All right, anyways, let's see if uh, the old Chevy can uh, pull it. You gotta remember it is a dually so it helps out a lot yep see you got no problems just a little bit more drag the big text falls along pretty well i have it chained up real well and if you guys are excited to get this ferry moving we are gonna have so much fun so make sure you drop a like inbound for the time of boy we're coming in with two trucks over had to let the harbor staff know while we're driving on the docks Okay, that's good. As long as we don't fall in the water. All right, let's hop in. There we are, the Mega Cab Man. This one's the lifted one. This is his pavement princess. It's got American forces on it. We're going to put this one in the very front, right behind the helm. Let's see, get as close as we can. We got to get four trucks on here. I think we might be able to fit the Ford right behind that one. Go and get in it. Look at that thing. That's huge. Okay, here we go. Let's hop in. Good thing is the mirrors automatically fold in, so it'll save us some room. There we go. Back it on. Parallel parking is fine. It's okay, we're maxed out there. We can't go any back further. Let's see. Right there's good. Bring it around. Yep, that's cutting it. Okay, we're going to put as many straps as we can possible. Hold this thing on. Yeah, that's hanging off a little bit on the left axle. That should hold it on, though. Let's get this one strapped down once we get the other side. Looks good, though. We got two more to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drive those back separately. I'm going to go run back real quick. I'm going to grab the GMC, and then I'll go get the power wagon. All right, it's running. There we go. Turbo's all good. Taking off. I had them warmed up a little bit. Boys, watch that last vehicle. We'll be back in just a few minutes. I don't have time to haul these. Honestly, I can just run back faster. Get in it, drive it back. Don't have to worry about anything. Totally not an excuse to drive them, I promise. <clears throat> yeah. Here we are, loaded on. Looks good. That works out great, honestly. I just unstrapped it, redid it. it goes right underneath the GMC for the Ford. And then this one's strapped over here. That works great. Last truck, power wagon. Here we are. We're in the power wagon. This is the vehicle I've been wanting to test drive. Here we are. Eh, I probably should have shut the doors, but, you know. There's two security guards. You don't need anything. We're going to load the last one on the Tommy Boy, the U-Haul barge, as I like to call it, because I do rent it. It's not owned by me, technically. They aren't cheap. You would think just a thing floating with a bunch of semi tires would be cheap, but, you know, they're a couple hundred thousand. Maintenance and the engine, big old diesel. 2,000 horsepower diesel. That's right. All right. Load it up and cut it right there. Can't get better than that. Come on. I mean, this is just tightly packed as possible. If the guy had another truck. We would have been done. But okay. We are good. Just lock up the Chevy. We're good to head on the Tommy boy. We're going to fire it up again. We're going to back out. We're going to get here as fast as possible. Honestly, it's just like a 10, 15 minute boat ride. Already doing 15 miles an hour in reverse, but look at this. See you later, Earl and Grat Harbor. Heading to the Elm Creek King's house that I learned today from his bodyguards. For his trucks, yeah. On the opposite side, see that blue building over there? I'm not sure if you can, but it's pretty far in the distance. We loop around the point, come back down the river, and it's right there. But it is secluded a little bit. It has a huge bridge that goes across. And this guy is a Bitcoin miner. And how he powers everything is through solar power and wind power. 
it's a lot easier to transport them by water since there's lots of routes you have to take through the city and you got to go through traffic with huge amounts of trucks behind us you know the water which is smooth sailing okay well we're approaching our king's house up here king of elm creek we're pulling in and if you see there's two unloading points it's the concrete going right in the water you just pull right up unload it and it's all good i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin it around back it in that we can unload from the back but this is a nice compound he actually is not here so he said if we want to take a look around the place he newly furbished it it's brand new and i'm like sure i'll take a tour of your mansion all right i beached the tommy boy we should be good right there good thing you got lifts on these trucks back them right off and here's the shop this is a really nice compound wrap around driveway all the way to his solar panel field right down there and then he's got three huge wind turbines over there so that's nice oh more security guards okay two of them too yep i'm the u-haul man dropping off the trucks yep perfect okay okay well let's hop in the first truck gmc's first let's get it unstrapped one and two perfect let's hop in perfect yep suspension works good let's go through the door oh this is a nice shop okay let's open up the overheads First one in the shop where well, he can probably fit all four. I don't see a problem compared to the other shed. Here's the Dodge Power Wagon. Check out that engine, boys. The 6.4. Hemi. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Close it up. Send it. Oh, look at that suspension. Oh, it's a tricky one. Let it down easy. Okay, we're good. Back it up. It's full of diesel, so it's heavy. Man, this thing is long. Okay. Back it in and cut it. Okay, we're good. All right. Well, we got the mega cab last and we can do a tour of his house. There you go. We got all the trucks put away. And here we are. Let's take a little tour. He said the front door is open. Oh my gosh. Look at this place. This is absolutely insane. Here, turn on the lights. Look at that. And this is a nice place. I might have to buy it from him. I've been saving up all my money from these jobs. He's paying me 50 grand. And he's letting me take a look at his mansion. Man, this is nice. Redid everything. Oh, here's the pantry. Let's go in the back here. Microwave. Storage. Jeez, that's nice. One of those Samsung fancy fridges. Okay, now this is next level. Got the first bathroom here. Oh, this is nice. Walk through a little bit more. That's the shop entrance. If you know if you're in the winter time, you can go direct access to the shop. There's the mega cab. And then let's see what's in here. Washer and dryer. Nice. Perfect. This is the master bedroom. Okay. This is really cool. I like this. Uh, king size bed. Yep. Nice size TV. And then, oh, ensuite bathroom. Dual sinks. Oh, look at this. Bathtub. Look at the shower, man. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. I could take a shower. Probably should have those in my house. That's a sweet-looking bathroom. There's got to be an upstairs, though, I heard. There's two rooms and then the patio out back. This is sweet. Great view, too. You can see all the energy he's earning. And here's the solar panel farm. Look at that. Oh, yeah. He's getting all the energy. Where's the dog around here? I was supposed to feed him. There we are. Part of our deal up the door and we're good to head out so thanks guys for watching today's episode we were doing some transporting of the trucks and it was some fun thanks to mark for making that power wagon and harry armstrong jr for making this awesome shed house that's what they call it it's combined into one those are the two showcase mods of today and i appreciate it so much so thank you guys for watching drop a like down below if you want to see more videos like these and subscribe i would appreciate it so much helps me out a ton so thanks guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next one.